Okay. Let me turn this volume down a little bit. You asked for it, you got it. This is my motor mouth mall modulator setup, man. Um, I really like this setup, too. I got so much uh, stuff over here, man. It's just very, uh, you know, it's just uh, a lot. And I like to experiment, so I like to try different things, like the iPad deal and, uh, you know, the Motor Mouth Mall deal, and I've done Direct Inject. I've told y'all I've done all kinds of different things when it comes to Hi-Fi, trying out different things. But this is my Motor Mouth Mall setup, and uh, just to clue you in on uh, exactly what I'm doing here, uh, the Motor Mouth Mall modulator's in here. I only uh, utilize three knobs, that's all I really, really needed out of the modulator. Um, it still has two more that are in there that, uh, you know, one of them's like tube emulation and, um, I can't think of the other one off the top of my head, but I've already got them preset and don't really need, I didn't need them on the outside to do any adjustments with. My power supplies are built into this box. I built this box, uh, back, um, when I first got the deal. Built an S meter. Um, of course that's hooked right into my 29. And uh, it's a uh, powered circuit, actually, so uh, it feeds right off the um, off the receive section in the radio. And uh, basically, what it reads is the same thing as that meter reads. Because uh, if you try to adapt a meter to the radio, you're going to lose one of the two, or they just won't read the same. So I did this deal. But uh, this is my motor mouth mall setup, and basically, what I'm doing right now is I've got a little two pill here. Um, I'm using. And that's not normally what I use. I usually use a five pill, uh, and and the five pill will give me about 150 bird out, which is the perfect drive for the Henry. And then of course I use the Henry into my big box. Uh, but I've got the uh, Motor Mouth Mall deal on my rack gear, um, and and that's pretty much. Let me move the clamp out the way. That's pretty much uh, the way. Um, I got it to run now I know a lot of the guys out there they use Pro Tools and I have Pro Tools I just couldn't I couldn't uh, get everything set the way I liked it um, now you know maybe if I dabble with the software a little bit uh, let me see Let's see if we can't pull old Pro Tools up here I'll get the old computer going but uh, basically I just uh, didn't um, get the Pro Tools uh, going the way I liked it and I had a lot of uh, late, uh, latency issues, um, which is basically like delay in the audio, and I like to monitor my audio with the headphones, but uh, I just really never got it to work the way I wanted it to, and I figured, well, maybe one of these days I'll get back to the software and mess with it, and now that this iPad stuff's come up, uh, I've kind of been flaking around with it. But uh, just to give you a scenario of, uh, you know, I know my software is not going to be able to run with this two pill because it's just not enough dead key for it not, so I don't really even know why I got that up but to give you a listen to of what it sounds like I'm going to use the Yezu like usual for the test radio and I, I actually have a president speaker that's um, hooked to the unit in I mean uh, to the Yezu I'm sorry and uh, basically I have a um, four inch uh, basically a hi-fi speaker in there it's a three cone speaker uh, picked up, up over at the stereo shop for cars, so uh, that's usually what I use in here. Um, I know right now the 29, it's not the speaker that I use. I use this speaker on all my radios whenever I'm using them on my bass. But uh, right now, just so I can hear, I've been using this little uh, Motorola speaker. But uh, this is what it sounds like uh, on the rack gear with a two pill. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, break, break, break. Hello, radio. Audio breaker, breaker. Now, granted, um, you know, I have it on the rack here, and I have everything set up kind of high on the base. It's not usually where I run it, and the reason being is because I have changed mics. I'm running this mic now, where before I was running the SM58, so I don't need quite as much bass with this mic. So let, let me, I cracked out some of the bass, and let's see what happens. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, break, break, break. Hello, radio station is getting on down. Breaker, breaker, breaker. But basically, this is a two pill. I'm on a 200 watt scale. If I can get the thing from feeding back, let me turn the volume down on that a little bit. Um, but as you see, it's uh, uh, I'm gonna have to say that's uh, probably about a three watt dead key out of a two pill. Audio, audio, one, two, one, two, hello, hello, breaker, breaker. So, you see I don't get much for uh, RMS 
out of the two pill. That's why you have to use a five pill with this setup. And that, that's just one of the things with it. Um, I get plenty of peak. I mean, peaks off the scale on 200 watt scale. Audio, 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 audio. So, I mean, it's got plenty of peak. It just uh, no no bird watt drive. So, uh, you know, in turn, if I put that into the Henry, of course, it's going to do what maybe 100 bird watts. Uh, give me a few minutes. I'm going to um, rig into five pill and uh, get this thing set up a little bit. And uh, I wanted to try the iPad audio with this deal too. Uh, you know, do both. Get both flavors there. Tempo. I'll be back. Okay, I got everything rigged up. Um, five pills in line now. This is that five pill I did a uh, YouTube one with the DEI pills in it. Um, versus Toshiba's, I didn't see no wide difference. But, when I run the motor mouth mall modulator, we're still on the 200 watt scale. As you see, a little over 100. Audio. Audio. Now I get about 150. I get about 150 out of it, which is perfect dry for my two tuber. Um, it's a little much, but I'm gonna put it on a thousand watt scale peak. Uh, yeah. uh, about eight or nine hundred. My bird meter shows up here. Uh, good eight hundred. So I get eight hundred peak still out of it, but only 150 bird. And then, uh, like I told you, of course, there's Pro Tools. It didn't load because I don't have the inbox in line, but yeah. Uh, audio. Takes a hundred, takes a hundred watts really to get this software, or actually two hundred to get it going. But uh, I just had it moving a minute ago. Ah, uh, there we go. And and as advertised with, uh, you know, with with this software, it uh, it does exactly what uh, what he says it does. Um, there's no line about that. You can get your asymmetry right, a asymmetrical right, and you know your your positives and your ma and your negatives and. I mean, you can do everything you want with the software. I mean, uh, I'm sorry, with the modulator. But, uh, it, it, you know, it does as advertised. It's not snake oil. It definitely gives you hi-fi. It's a very nice system. Um, I mean, run it on your computer with Pro Tools, which is what a lot of guys are doing. I just, you know, I had already had the rack gear and already knew, uh, you know, somewhat of setups on it, so I preferred to go the rack gear mount, which there's a few guys that are doing the rack gear mount. But, uh, you know, that's what you get. I'm sorry I can't really turn the volume up a whole, whole lot in here for y'all to get a good listen of what this thing sounds like. Let me see if I can... See, it wants to feed back. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three. Break, break, break. Hello, radio stations getting on down. And, that, and that's what me cranking some of the bass out. Now I'll put some of the bass in there like the Motor Mouth Mall guys like. And uh, listen to it now. One, two, one, two, three. Break, break, break. Hello, radio stations getting on down. And, you know, that's me just putting some bass in straight off the mixer. I didn't even go into the EQ or nothing like that. So, uh, you know. And, and plus on top of it, I really haven't adjusted nothing to this new mic that I got. So, but uh, I'll be right back. I wanted to try the iPad into this and let y'all get a gander of that all right we got the ipad hooked in now and uh i had to do some gain adjustments with it um to do what i needed it to do but uh you, like i said you can do all that in the program with the ipad but uh we've got the ipad in line um running it through the motor mouth mall modulator same dead key actually i'm lying dead key changed a little bit on me Give me a second, let me see if I can readjust that. Without feedback. Okay, it's about the same. Audio, hello, hello, one, two, one, two, break, 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 hello, radio. So there you go. Audio, audio, one, two, one, two. Audio. So it's still 800 peak, my 150 bird, just what I need, and that's uh, using utilizing the iPad. And like I said, you know, you have variations that you can use with the motor mouth mall modulator, and it does as advertised. I'm not disputing that it doesn't do as advertised, um, but you can do rack gear with it. Now you can do iPad with it, and of course, you can do Pro Tools with it with the inbox, which I have the inbox. Um, I just don't have it hooked in line. So there's all your different examples of what you can do with the modulator. 
Hope you enjoy my videos. If you have anything else that uh, you'd like to know about, just hit me up. Email, call me on the shop phone, or check out the webpage, www.nonameamps.com. Have a good one, guys. We'll see you.